what's up you guys it's your girl Riss. welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be putting some new hair products to the test girl now y'all know that i stand by like my little two faithful products right but in this series we are going to be putting a lot of newer products older products just you know products to get me outside of my comfort zone we're going to be testing those on my twa now the only way that I really style my hair is a wash and go. So these products are going to be tested specifically for, you know, the quality of a wash and go. So today, girl, we're going to be putting Myel Organics to the test. I went to the beauty supply store the other day and I was like, you know what? These products are raved about a whole lot. So let me just go ahead and put them to the test. Specifically, their um honey and ginger styling gel now i've been using this um brazilian curly cocktail curl cream with babasu oil so on my first natural hair journey this stuff used to be one of my holy grails i love it so much you guys know i just have to mm, you guys this is the best smelling hair product that i've ever smelled in my entire life like oh my gosh this smells so good I also picked up some of this mint and almond oil just because I read the back of one of the Myel Organics products and it said that this stuff is really good um, just to prevent, to prevent flaking and um, crunching and all that stuff. So this stuff smells really good too. All right, girls, so my hair is freshly washed and conditioned. It's probably dry by now just because I did a whole full face of makeup and been doing other things. So. I haven't really touched my hair since I've gotten out of the shower. So I have my handy dandy water bottle here and this is just water and a tiny, tiny bit of olive oil mixed. I don't think that olive oil does well with my hair. So um, ever since I figured that out, I cut it out of my routine and I've been pretty okay. So I'm pretty sure that I'm not gonna use olive oil anymore. So I'm gonna take my handy dandy water bottle and just you know, start spritzing my hair. So once my hair is nice and saturated, I'm gonna go ahead and take my Brazilian Curly Cocktail Curl Cream, and I'm gonna start with a pretty good amount and just put this all over my hair. This stuff is so moisturizing. As you can see, my curls are already pretty defined when I put this stuff in here. Like, it looks so good already like oh my goodness so the next thing that i like to do is just take my comb and start detangling so i like to do this before i put on any gel so i put on the cream first i detangle then i go back in with the gel and then do that in section so i'm just going to speed this up really quickly because there's really not a lot to see here i'm just kind of detangling in sections so now i'm just going to start from the back i like to start from the back and part off section of my hair now I'm going to use the Myel honey and ginger styling gel and I love the fact that this stuff comes with a pump oh my gosh it is literally so convenient so I'm going to take two pumps then I'm going to just start to apply this now you can't really see the back of my hair but I'm going to try to walk you guys through what I'm doing <laughs> I'm literally just applying it and then combing it through so part it take a pump of the gel apply it from root to tip you don't want to miss those roots because if you do it'll get frizzy and then literally just comb it straight through and already you guys like once you apply this stuff it detangles so well the comb just literally glides through like better so i'm going to do this all over my head and then we'll pretty much be done All right, you guys, so take a look at these curls. So juicy, so defined. There's no residue. There aren't any flakes. There's nothing like that. Like, this is some good stuff. All right, so now I'm gonna take a little bit of the mint almond oil, and I'm just going to lightly go through my hair and just apply this i'm not really sure how to <laughs> use this oil i guess you just 
apply it obviously now i am noticing that there is like a tiny bit of frizz in my roots but it's not that noticeable i am just kind of worried that once i pick this out it's gonna frizz a whole lot but let's just get these edges together first and then we'll see so i'm gonna be using my style factor edge booster this is currently my favorite edge control just because it is such a bomb hold and this stuff smells so good so i'm gonna take some and literally just apply this to my edges and then you guys are gonna see what i do a little bit later do you guys see this hold already like are you freaking kidding me this stuff is so bomb and i didn't even brush the edges yet but just look All right so now i'm going to take my edge brush this is literally just the most basic edge brush ever i get it from the beauty supply store and i'm going to take this and literally just run the comb through my hair just so the edge control can get through each strand now i'm going to go in and start to kind of style the edges I just free ball it you guys I do it differently every single time I do this so just you know lay your uh, baby hairs down however you like to do it now in the front I'm just going to kind of perfect those curls run the comb through it just to define them more and I don't know what's going on there but Okay. All right, you guys, so that is it. I am loving, I'm literally obsessed with the way my curls look and how defined they are, girl. How juicy they are. I'm not sure if it's gonna crunch yet just because they're still wet. So I'll be back a little bit later when my hair is around 90% dry just to pick it out and see how high it gets and to see if there's residue or you know just anything like that. So let me go do some things for work and I'll be right back. All right, you guys, so my hair is about 90% dry now. So now I'm gonna take my handy dandy pick and by the way, my curls are still popping, still no residue, still no flakiness. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna take my pick and just pick it out at the root. And then what I like to do is kind of just zhuzh it up, make it stand a little bit taller than what it is, which is really the point of me picking it out. And this is all I do, right? So this is what I do every single time, no matter what product I use. This is my process. All right, you guys. So that pretty much wraps up this video. I I hate to say it because these Myel products are way more expensive than the products that I usually use, but I have to give it to them. This is like this, this honey and ginger styling gel, you guys. I think it's my new favorite. Ugh. Like I said, I've been using the Brazilian Curly Cocktail Curl Cream for, ooh, that's a tongue twister. <laughs> I've been using it for quite some time now, but you guys, these two products layered, ugh, it is literally a dream come true. So, Myel Organics is risk-approved. That's it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Comment down below and let me know what products you want me to test next. I think I'm gonna be putting the main choice to the test next round. I'm super excited about that and I'm really just excited about trying new products in my hair. I'm trying to make this process my natural hair journey for the second time as fun and as exciting as possible so I don't go back to my cream and crack. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. Mwah. Bye.